I'd like to welcome you and thank you for joining us on the first day of spring, a time of new beginnings, to celebrate the grand opening of the ProCure Proton Therapy Center. We're thrilled to have nearly 300 people from the local community in the region join us in celebration of the first Proton Therapy Center in New Jersey or the Metro New York City area. I'm sure many of you have noticed the daffodils around the room. Daff daffodils represent a symbol of hope in the fight against cancer, which affects so many people in New Jersey and the Metro New York City area. We like to say hope blossoms when it is shared, and we plan to share hope with many patients and their families. Our mission at ProCure is to improve the lives of patients with cancer by increasing access to proton therapy. The story of the center began on St. Patrick's Day, 2008, when we met the outstanding radiation oncologists uh, and, and physicians of Princeton Radiation Oncology. Then we collaborated with Centra State Health System to help us more fully address the potential needs of cancer patients. But less than two years ago, with your support, we broke ground. And today, patients will cut a ribbon and begin a new chapter where we'll help create new stories of hope and triumph. In a few days, we'll begin treating a number of those patients, helping them write stories of hope, helping them not just survive cancer, but triumph over it. Dr. Cameron and I met a couple of times. We had a few phone calls. I've fallen in love with your vision. And at that breakfast, the two of us formed ProCure with a handshake. And the first thing we put down was patient first, in particular kids first. And that's been true to our mission since day one, is to put the patient first. Every aspect of what we do is driven by that type of commitment. This is the third time I've done this. We have a center in Oklahoma and one in Chicago and now one here in New Jersey. We'll continue to build centers, continue to drive proton therapy into the community until everyone has access to proton therapy. On behalf of Governor Christie and our entire administration, we congratulate Procure as they usher in a new era here in Somerset. Today's ribbon cutting is further evidence that the New Jersey comeback is here. Procure is a terrific New Jersey success story. The company has invested over $160 million in Somerset, which includes six, a 60,000 square foot proton therapy facility with four treatment rooms. Approximately 1,500 patients will be treated each year. This is truly a monumental moment for us. Um, as you can see behind me in that beautiful building, we now have the most powerful and advanced cancer fighting tool in the world. A number of our, uh, our partners in, in my, my physician group, Princeton Regional Oncology, actually trained with proton therapy uh, during our time up at Harvard Medical School at the MGH. And there we learned two very important facts. Fact number one is that we recognize that proton therapy was the most elegant and the most sophisticated way of treating cancers by far. Unlike x-rays, uh, this is a very crude example, but bear with me here. X-rays are like a, a bullet fired out of a shotgun. They're going to enter the body with great velocity, does eventually hit the tumor, but eventually leaves this terrible wake of collateral damage behind. But protons are like a firecracker or, or a dynamite I could put in right in the middle of the tumor. And it detonates, releasing all of its energy. And amazingly, although it's going almost the speed of light, we're able to make it stop over the thinness of my hair. So the bottom line is we're able to spare 60 to 80% of the radiation dose to all the healthy surrounding tissues when you compare that with x-rays. And folks, I got to tell you, in my field, and certainly Dr. Cameron can comment on that, that is a quantum leap and certainly a huge benefit for our patients. The second, maybe more important lesson that I learned was that getting access to proton therapy was next to impossible. When we came back home to New Jersey, it, uh, our pipe dream was to bring this amazing technology bring it right home to New Jersey so that every single patient in New Jersey in an entire New York metro area can have unlimited and unprecedented access to proton therapy starting today. This is my daughter Zoe, uh, a patient of ProCure. <laughs> proton therapy and ProCure made a big difference in, in our life. Our battle began at age two with Zoe. 
Um, we've had four brain tumor surgeries. We had nine months of chemo after the first surgery. Um, it, nothing was ever completely gone, but our doctors that we'd become quite close with kept telling us three, four years ago, Proton's coming, Proton's coming. She's a great candidate, Proton's coming. Zoe was the first pediatric brain tumor patient at the Proton Center in Illinois. A young lady named Annie there, who I believe is like a nurse technician, who uh, met Zoe every day for every treatment. Um, different people imprint in your life, and you never forget. And Procure did that for us. I just really hope that Procure can begin to imprint on the lives of the patients that they can now treat in this area. You're very blessed. In doing my research, there were two things outstanding that stood in my mind, and one was the quality of life, and the other one was, of course, the, the least amount of collateral damage to tissue. I'm sitting there, and I'm waiting for something to happen. And all of a sudden, here they come back and say, you know, it's over. The rest of my time was spent, uh, really, my wife said I was partying, but we were socializing. And, <laughs> And, and to be honest with you, we met so many great friends. And you know, there was a time that, you know, surgery used to be said it was the gold standard. And I think um, Proton has proven to be the platinum, if not the diamond. My question at this point was, what do we do to kill the beast? Because when you hear those first three words, you have cancer. Your life is changed forever. And it doesn't care who it strikes. It doesn't care if you're young like Zoe. It doesn't care if you're in your 50s. It doesn't care if you're in your 70s. It strikes with a vengeance, and it changes your life, and it eats away at the cells and the organs in your body. My first proton treatment was really quite an experience. I laid in that gantry, and I looked up, and it turned around me, and it was like, okay, Scotty, beam me up. Because all of us were there with one common denomination and one thread. It was hope, hope that this proton therapy would be the only thing that would cure us from our cancer. This shovel is from the groundbreaking here at this particular facility two years ago. And this is a symbol of hope. This center signifies cutting edge technology, shorter treatment times, less side effects for thousands of families that are fighting back against this insidious disease. I'd like to ask everybody at Procure now to stand and help me recite our patient's oath. Please, stand. We are inspired by the strength and spirit of our patients. Our pledge to you is to deliver service and care that honors your individual strength, your personal dignity, and your unique journey. Thank you. Our concluding event is going to be to raise our flag of hope right around the corner. So would you please join us right around the corner?